my friend. You see the light? If you don't see the light, be the light. Hey. <laughs> Once again, a beautiful day. And we are celebrating our own unique way. What's going on, Brother Dan? Epic Dan in the house. Yes, we can, said Epic Dan. Yes, we can, says Epic Dan. My man. What's happening? Emmanuel's, what's going on? Much love, much love. Axel, what's happening? What's happening, Axel? Much love, much love to you. Blessings upon thee. Blessings come from you. Blessings come through you. And blessings come to you. Much love. We're going to talk about a quick way to receive more blessings in life. Every day another blessing and every day another lesson in life. Every day a little less stressing in life. <laughs> oh man. So many blessings. So many lessons. Much love to you. So what's a quick way to receive some blessings? Well, this way actually has nothing to do with you. Follow me. Follow me now. Follow me now. Yes, you. Now. It has everything to do with you, and yet it has nothing to do with you. Jerome, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Man, Jerome, quit playing, right? What you saying? Quit playing. Well, this is what we're saying, my friend. Have you ever had a friend of yours, or a family member, or somebody you know, accomplish something in life? And when they accomplish something... What was your reaction? Were you in congratulation? Were you in celebration? Or were you in that hateration? Were you hating on them for their success? Were you dogging on them for their success? Were you flogging on them for their success? Or were you boosting them up? Were you lifting them up? Were you encouraging them to do more? How did you react? How did you react to their success? This is something that can determine how and when you receive even more blessings in your life. Because I have seen this happen in this game of life. It is like a cheat code. The ways in which you react to the success of the one who is blessed by reacting to other success you too can be blessed what do we mean what do we mean here's what we mean that supporting others success won't ever dampen yours but we can understand that when everyone has that light within Dimming out someone else's light will never make yours shine brighter. One more time, Jerome. One more time for the people in the back. Dimming someone else's light won't make yours shine bright. But if we understand that we are all reflections, we can create an even deeper connection by putting out a positive projection Letting someone know. Keep going. Keep growing. And keep flowing. It can even be a form to access your spiritual progress in life. If we are each parts and pieces of another. Congratulate your sister or your brother. Right? Even if they're coming from another mother. Let them know how they glow. Let them know how they shine. And so will they when it's your time. The sun and the moon never compare themselves to each other, but they both shine when it's their time, don't they? 
They both shine when it's divine. So we can do the same. So when someone else succeeds in life, be it a friend or a family member, let them know, hey, boost them up, lift them up, encourage them, empower them, enlighten them, lighten up, you know? Let them know, hey, I see you, I see you. I see what you're doing out here. Keep going, keep growing, right? Boost somebody up and you actually boost up yourself. What you do for another, you do for your own well. How do you do that in love, Epic Dan says? <laughs> when they go low, you go from above. That's how you do it with love. When people go low, you aim high. Don't ask me. I don't know why. But that's just what works. You know? The hurt cause more hurt. The healed cause more healed. And that's how we seal the deal. By how we feel. So, when you congratulate, you too feel great. For what you do for another, you do for yourself. Right? It is that own projection and connection that you make. These are the steps that we take. Allowing yourself to feel great in your own mind. I'm telling you, y'all, it works every time. Every time that I have gone out of my way to let someone know you have greatness today. It has come back somehow my way. And the mind doesn't know the difference between reality and what we tell it. We are all salesmen and saleswomen. What we create is what we sell it, right? So sell yourself on the belief that when others succeed, you will proceed to let them know, keep going. And blessings will keep showing up in your life because you have allowed yourself to have less stress and less strife when you have blessed the lives of someone else. You do the same for your own health. I'm repeating this over and over to really let it sink in deep. that every time you put that energy out, what comes back is what you seek, right? It can be a wonderful treat to let someone know, hey, I see you, I see what you're doing. Keep doing it, keep doing that. You're doing great, you got greatness in you. You are amazing, you are astounding, you are astonishing. You're doing big things out here. And you'll see that ripple that you put out, that wave of energy come back. Keeping you right back on track. As a matter of fact, like we said with the mind that doesn't know the difference, when you are saying that for another person, you are actually saying those things about you. Now we can say that this person is a part of you, right? There's no separation. So if there's no separation, it's all celebration. I celebrate you, I celebrate me. I congratulate you, I congratulate me. I'm doing it for you, but I also did it for myself. It's a quick way to boost your blessings, your health and your wealth. So lastly, my friend, I'll say it again. Celebrate others' success. And you may never know when. These blessings come back. And it happens just like that. Much love. The more you celebrate and bless the success of those around you, you open yourself to receive. And don't take my word for it. Believe what you believe. But this is what I have received when I have come to do it. And when we grow through what we go through, 
That's how we get to it. Much love, y'all. This has been Jerome Shaw, host of the Open Palm Podcast, motivator, <sighs> meditator, coming at you live. What's happening? Elena, shout out to Victoria, Tracy, Axel, Kia Hill. Oh, what's going on? Lisa Gibson, what's happening? Hey, shout out Divines. I want to celebrate all of your success today. If you are watching this, even if you're on the replay, you know how we say, have it your way. Like BK. <laughs> so much love, much love. I celebrate your success. Letting you know that you too are blessed. Less strife and less stress. In life, we take the test. But we are all just doing our best in the end. Don't let this be the end, my friend. We'll see you again very soon. So stay in tune. <laughs> Keep your instrument in harmony. We going in. Share this with somebody who needs to hear it. You never know who needs a message. Tune in to the Open Palm Podcast. It's in the bio for your listening pleasure your daily inspiration. We'll see you again in a brand new location and a brand new vibration, my friend. Always, thank you for listening and glistening. You could have been anywhere in any place, so thank you for breathing in this space. I just want to let you know that you are loved. When people go low, you come back from above. Keep them feet paddling, but stay smooth like a dove. <laughs> be crafty as a snake but always stay great that kundalini popping what's going on hey blessings blessings my friend blessings yes blessings rain down on you we used to have a song in church back when i was singing on the church choir it was from uh kirk franklin and he used to sing this song melodies from heaven hey Rain down on me, rain down on me, melodies, melodies from heaven. Yep. So melodies rain down on you. We'll come back around on you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>